Zell boy army, what is up? It's your man Zelonius or my boy Ainsley, and we are back to the cheap B series today. So, where the cheap B series is going now is we've got five nations that I'm going to be doing over the next few days, and these are five of the best nations for this year's ultimate team. Today's first one is going to be Belgium, not just famous for their chocolate, right, Ainsley? There you go. Belgium have some brilliant players across the team. From a nation that 20 years ago was doing nothing football and wise, to one of the best nations to build with an ultimate team. They've got quite a few players across the best leagues in the world to help with hybrids, etc. So, boys, if you like this video, smash the like button, give some comments, feedback, subscribe to the channel, please. Really means a lot. Without further ado, here are your Belgian cheap beasts. Here we are with your Belgian beasts. <coughs> Belgium are a nation that were in the football wilderness for a long time. Then they completely revitalised their training facilities, how they did things, and yeah, the results are clear to see. Brilliant nation now, one of the best in the world. We're going into a World Cup here, they look like one of the top five nations. They don't necessarily have the greatest strength in depth, but their first team is pretty special. I'm going to talk you through it. Coutois in net. Six foot six, brilliant keeper on FIFA, great long throw, really solid. Plays for Chelsea. He gets a high flute to the two Prem centre backs that we're going to use. <clears throat> Fun fact for you with Coutois, he didn't start playing in net till he was 14. Imagine how good he would have been if he'd have played his whole career in it. Munier, probably the weakest spot in the Belgian team, but he's going to get an upgrade this year. He's got a good week, but he's six foot three and a solid all round card. He'll be a very useful player, he'll probably be a bit of a cheap beast compared to what people expect. Toby and Jad, brilliant pairing. Toby's got the right foot, Yad's got the left foot, they're both pretty good height, they both can pass the ball, they can dribble, they've decent pace. Toby's getting an upgrade to an 86, Yad's getting an upgrade to an 85, going to be a brilliant pair and they've got a perfect link to each other. They're going to work brilliant on this year's FIFA, they're not going to be cheap, but they'll be very, very good centre backs at the start of the year. There's a good chance that they'll get a top card in both of them too. Spurs are generally very good in defence. Um, two brilliant centre backs, two of the better ones this year. I like ball playing centre backs, and Ainsley, you do too, boy. <laughs> yeah, boy. Ainsley told us this before, but he wanted me to remind you he loves a good ball playing centre back. So, Toby and Jan, brilliant pair. Jordan Lukaku, I've seen his card, don't know if it was a fake or not, but it was a 77 gold. It's going to be even cheaper, it's going to be upgrades, like 89 pace, good week of foot. He's going to be one of the best cheap beasts in the game, I think. He's going to be a brilliant fullback, an absolute monster of a player. I'm really looking forward to using him. Moussa Dembele, underrated player, quick, strong, he can dribble, got a good, decent long shot, can pass, very solid defensively. He's going to be a beast card, he'll probably get an 8 for upgrade this year. This card is dirty, man. 90 plus on every stat. Are you freaking kidding me, Roger? This boy smokes regularly every day. Yeah, he's got engine on FIFA. This boy didn't smoke, imagine how much fear he would be. I heard a story from the Belgian national manager, former one, Mark Wilbots. He said, I let uh, Roger smoke as much as he wants as long as he plays for me. He said he might lower his career by five years. But I'm happy for him to put the smoke because look at the shit he puts on the pitch. It's hard to deny that nine goals are everywhere. I think he's at 86 this year. He's going to be an absolute monster. Kevin De Bruyne, most assists in the Premier over the last 12 months. Started the season on fire for Man City. He's at 89 this year, which is just ridiculous. He's going to be a beast. Good weak foot and skill moves. 
decent height. It's a brilliant car. I've used him a bit on the demo. I really like him. He seems really good at dribbling. Yeah, he's a monster. He's guaranteed in form to play in advance. So he's going to get assists. He's going to get goals. Really good player. Hazard. Yes, he's a winger, but I feel there's a decent chance that he'll get in form that go in the strike or cab. If he does, he's going to be really useful. Put him in behind the two strikers that I've picked. Brilliant plays, a 90 on this year's FIFA. He's going to have some insane stats. His cards are going to be brilliant. He's probably going to get a touch of how Hazard plays. One of the world's best players. Mertens, this boy's been a solid player throughout his career. But he just exploded last year, boys. Did he have like eight special cards or something ridiculous at Napoli? I think it was Millet got injured and they decided to play Mertens up front as a like, trial almost. He never looked back. Brilliant player. An 86 on this year. His centre of gravity is dribbling his long shoot. He's going to be a monster. He's going to score goals. He'll get in forms. Really good option. And wow, your boy Lukaku. Look at those stats for 98 games, and a lot of those have been rage quits. 106 goals. That's his top card, but he's going to get in forms guaranteed playing for Man U. He's scoring nearly every game for Man U. He's going to be a monster. Four star week for six through. Good pace, great in the air, which is going to be beastly on this year's FIFA. He's just going to be one of. He could be the best striker of the game, boys. He'll get a top playing for Man U with how he's playing. I'm scared about facing him. Benteke, just the worst version of Lukaku really, with the right foot. Very good player, but one of my favourite players in world football as a Villa fan. But he's not quite as good as Lukaku, not as good at dribbling, not quite as good at pitch, a bit slower. But as good in the air, same height, very similar players, same work rate. Benteke and Lukaku, if you like good aerial ability, they're going to be beastly. Fellaini, he's going to be a beast defensive mid. He always plays better than his card looks. He's a monster in the air. Carrasco, brilliant winger. Going to get an upgrade, I imagine, this year. Very good player. Um, link in the um, La Liga for you. Company, not a bad third choice centre-back to have. Tillemans, he's playing at Monaco. Five-star week of foot. Now he's playing in a pretty good league, he's got a good long shot, I imagine his card's going to be a lot better this year. I think he's going to be really good to be honest, um, he might be a worse version of Crows, he seems that type of player. But French league, good option, strong link with uh, Munia. Milan, decent option at centre back, okay player, might get left back. Then Donker, this 90 was an absolute monster man, as far as I'm aware. I think he's still at Anderlecht, but he'll get some informed play for Anderlecht. BGM high is really useful, he's tall and weak, but basically it was Patrick Vieira on his top scan. If you link him to the other Belgian boys, you won't have an issue with chemistry. Monster player, really recommend him. Boys, that is your Belgian beast. They're going to be amazing this year. A mix of engines with Nine Girl and Dumbelli, playmakers with Hazard De Bruyne. Long shooting, Mertens, Beast Strikers, Lukaku, Benteke, great centre backs. They're incredible. Really recommended. They're going to be absolutely insane for you boys. If you like this video, smash the like button. Comment with your feedback if you think there's anyone I missed. Subscribe to the channel. Really means a lot, boys. Just learn yourself.